you know, you guys are atheist republic. Isn't it time to be? Uh, I, I used to be an atheist, but I'm agnostic now because um, I listened to skeptic. He said it's uh, it's better not to make a claim like there is no God. It's easier to just say, you know, you know, he has his theory about not attacking God, but instead just saying I don't know. And uh, smarter people are gonna be agnostic. Would you guys be open to switching to agnostic republic instead? Because it that, sounds like the that's because he answer. doesn't. No, no, no. He doesn't under skeptic doesn't understand what he's talking about. Um, send me the clip that he said that, and I will criticize him. He always uh, said, he always talks. About, he talked to you about that. We shouldn't attack God because we don't have proof. God is something that is in. And it's I a proved, physiological. And I, and I, and I I'll tell you what he wrong. said. He no, says no, it's I a physiological manifestation in your brain that you you have a sense of presence and attacking well, he, the God. Yeah, he's wrong. But, he doesn't understand what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Please yeah, I, uh, I, I, in, in, inform me. So there are a couple of different there are a couple of different ways you can go about this, and it kind of depends on on how you're going. So for for one thing, oftentimes agnosticism is referring to whether or not you have knowledge being a subset of belief. So belief, then you have justified, true, that becomes knowledge. And agnosticism is saying that we don't have knowledge either way. We don't actually have justified, true beliefs on either side, right? Atheism yeah. isn't necessarily saying there is no God, right? It isn't necessarily taking the stance of the hard atheism, which is often referred to as definitely I'm saying there is no God. That being said, there are lots of different constructions on this and understandings in the philosophical literature. If you're talking to a, a you know, somebody who has just spent their whole life doing philosophy of religion and deep into philosophy, when they use the term atheist, they are taking the hard stance. And when they are taking when they are using the term agnostic, they are taking that stance more so of I'm not picking a side. But that's just the, the actual philosophical literature. But when it comes to the actual like general usage of the words a lot of times, um, yeah, a lot of times people that are taking the, the, the label atheist are are pretty much synonymous with a non-theist or a non-religious person. And they're just simply saying, I do not believe in a god or a deity of some kind. Some people take a slightly different tact, which is kind of where I go, which is in the general construction of what a deity is, I don't have knowledge either way. I don't currently have a belief in that thing, but I don't have knowledge either way, so I'm agnostic in that sense. But every other construction of God that I have ever heard fails somewhere, whether it's with demonstration of its existence or whether it's, you know, a fallacy in the logical, you know, construction. And so that's why I take a slightly different stance than some people. Um, but in the general term of like some deity out there with power and so forth, that's basically unfalsifiable. It's like, well, OK, I, I don't know either way on that, I guess. But like uh, the God of the Quran, all the gods mentioned in, in Hindu scriptures, uh, the God of the Bible, like all of that fails. And I, I take the positive stance that those specifically do not exist. Zeus, don't believe it. Definitely, I'm saying, does not exist. But does that does that kind of flesh it out a little bit more for you, Sash? Uh, once I listen to the video uh, again, because I usually listen to things more than once yeah. before I can understand. I usually listen to things three times. <laughs> Sash, Sash send, me, send, me, send me the clip from Skeptic, and I will mm -hmm. review it on the Persian channel, okay? But I think Secular Rarity explained it very well. Um, and I, but I, I want to do a... Is there a clip? Is there a short clip from Skeptic that you could send me? You uh, literally had on the first time you met him with Bobak, no. you had this discussion with him. I'm surprised. I know. I, I, no, no, I remember it very clearly, and I remember that I destroyed him in that discussion. So I don't know why you uh, don't you seem to not remember that what happened, okay? Because I completely showed how flawed his our reasoning was. Uh, but I want to do right. I want to do a video reviewing of him without him constantly interrupting me. So I want to have a short clip of him making that point um, and then me doing a pause, like pausing and then explaining it to everybody in Persian, the difference 
people thinking like atheism and agnosticism is mutually exclusive. Like you, you don't, you, for example, you don't seem to know the definitions right now because you're saying I'm an uh, agnostic now and, instead of an atheist. Like that doesn't make any sense. I myself, I'm an agnostic atheist. Agnosticism and atheism is not mutually exclusive. So okay. to say that, to say that, to say I'm an agnostic now and not an atheist means that some people don't understand the definition of these words. Uh, and yes. also for yes. and also for skeptic to come and say that oh God is like he's redefining the word God. So I need to clarify this on the Persian uh, channel. Um, so I'm going to use skeptic as a way to highlight that. So yeah. if you have a five minute clip of him saying that, send it to me on my Instagram. Okay, uh, and I will could, review. I think uh, yeah, he never put it on YouTube because he has a YouTube channel where yeah. he uh, he does that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to see whether I find that. I I'll definitely. How do you want me to communicate with you? I don't even know how to send you things. I told you on my Instagram. My, my, my I use my Twitter oh. now for co contacting people in English and yeah, my Instagram, yeah, your Instagram. For Persian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I'm on there. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool. All right, All right. sounds good. Sounds good. I'll t um I'll I'll look forward to it. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.